Hey everybody, welcome back. So we're gonna continue learning about drawing in Photoshop. Let's try that again. Hey everybody, welcome back. We're gonna continue learning about drawing in Photoshop. And I wanna show you a couple more, a few more tools uh, before we get going here. Uh, so one uh, tool I wanna show you today is the pencil tool. Okay, now this whole time I've been painting with a brush and assuming you have as well. But if I click down on my brush, I've got a few other options, okay? There's a brush, pencil tool, color replacement tool, mixer brush tool. Um, the main one, uh, the two I use, I mean, the one I use most of the time is a brush tool. And that's like 99% of the time. The other percent is the p uh, pencil tool. The other one's, you know, r rare little situations. But anyways, the pencil tool, let's go ahead and click on that. And what the pencil tool does is it draws in pixels, okay? Where our brush, if I zoom in on my brush strokes, let's zoom all the way in, it feathers the edges. So it kind of uh, blends it out, right? It makes it look soft on the edges. Now watch, let me go ahead and make sure I'm on the right layer here. I'm just gonna move, let me move to a clean spot down here. Okay, here we are. And let me just go ahead and draw and you can see the pixels on the side, right? Now, if I did the same thing, let's see, let's see what, what brush it defaulted to. Okay, so I'm on the hard round pressure brush. Soft round pressure brush. It's, it is nothing soft about it, right? It's just a hard edge. Um, let's see, that's not, actually, that's the soft round brush. That's not even the pressure. Pressure, if I go to that one, soft round pressure, let's see, it's, this one's gonna get thick and thin. And then hard round pressure. Very similar because we don't have that feathering effect. Soft round pressure is gonna give me the pressure sensitivity and uh, still have the pixels, right? So that's very different than if I'm using my brush tool and I'm using those same tools here. Soft round brush, let's make it a little bigger here. Right, I'm getting that thing. Now, it's still pixels, but it's trying to make it look like it's getting lighter towards the edges. So very different look. Now, so even these brushes, right? So this one, again, softens the edge. That one has a hard edge. Okay, now why would I wanna use my pencil tool? So in certain situations, I do actually want to change the exact pixels. Um, and the thing is, like, if I'm selecting something, now we haven't learned about this yet. Okay, so here's the magic wand tool, and now, if I want to select something with it, now I'm going, to, I'm going to, we haven't learned this tool, but you can select certain areas, certain pixels by color, and there's parameters for that. But if I want to select this over here, I'm going to go ahead and make it contiguous. So it just, uh, that means uh, it's going to select only things that are in contact with each other, okay? So if I select that, it's harder to get that exact spot because of the feathering. It doesn't know exactly how much to let in, how much to let out, but if I'm drawing in pixels with the pencil tool, I can get exactly those pixels. And if I want a color like, let's say, well, let's go ahead and do this. I'm gonna select the outside of it. And let's say I wanna put a different color in. I can do that, right? Now I'm gonna deselect Command D, and you see it'll go right up to that black line where I don't have that kind of um, exact kind of thing going with the brush tool. Uh, now, even with the pressure sensitivity on these bottom ones, whoops, let me do that, uh, it's still probably gonna have a hard time knowing exactly what to pick. But see, well, it got all of it, I guess. Well, it really didn't, it got all of it. But if you did wanna get not all of it, it would be a little harder. But again, it's got those pixels to work with. So it can pick the colored pixels, where this one has a harder time because it's feathered out. Okay, that's one reason why. If you need an exact amount of pixels or exact area that you're gonna work with, uh, the pencil tool will allow you to do that. That's, that's one of the main reasons I've found to use it is for that sort of thing. Okay, that's the pencil tool. The other tool I wanna show you uh, right now is the pen tool. So let me go ahead and switch this. Now I'll leave that as it is. Let me switch this back to my brush. 
And let me go to the pen tool. So the pen tool is down here, and the shortcut is P, right? Which kind of takes up, you know, P for pencil, but that's why it's under the brush. So that's B up here. But if I want the pen, it's B, uh, I'm sorry, P for pen. Okay, so the pen tool is not like what you would think of as a traditional pen, like I'm either drawing with pen or pencil. All those things would be handled with a brush. You would, you know, you would get a brush that looks like your clean pen line. What the pen tool does is it uses anchor points and handlebars to adjust curves. Actually, really anything, but um, it's really good with curves. Okay, so uh, I'm just moved down here, moved to a little open space, and we're just gonna mess with the pen tool. But what I wanna do now is kind of set my brush stroke. And the reason why is because it's gonna matter in a second. So I'm gonna pick a brush that I wanna use. Let's go ahead and do, I'm gonna do the uh, hard round pressure brush, just so we can see if there's any um, difference in pressure in the way it, it acts. Okay, so back to my pen tool once I've got my brush set. And let's, let's first just do some clicking. So I'm gonna click down and lift up. Okay, and it leaves a little anchor point there. I'm gonna click down, lift up, click down, lift up, and I can get these straight lines. So this is kind of handy if I have straight lines that I need to draw, and I wanna just use the anchor point and not rely on my, uh, you know, my hand. So here we go. I'm not being too exact with it, I just want some straight lines. And now once I have it set how I want, well actually, let's say, let's say I don't have it set how I want right now. I can go down to this tool down here. This is the direct selection tool. And it's either gonna be the path selection tool or the direct selection tool. I want the white arrow direct selection tool. I can go ahead and pick up these points by clicking on them and adjusting them, these anchor points. And I can fix things and get it how I want. Okay, once I have it how I want, I can go back to my pen tool Make sure I have the color I want. I'll, I'll stick with red, that's what I had last, it doesn't matter. And I can go to my path, can right click on it, and go to stroke path. And it's gonna ask me what I want, do I wanna use the brush? Or it's got all these other options to, uh, as well, but that's okay, I wanna use my brush right now. And it will have uh, the ability to simulate pressure or not. Let's just go ahead and do it to see what it does. And then hit okay. And there we go. So it puts a stroke, a pen stroke, or brush stroke, sorry, on my path. And that's kind of a weird little design there. <laughs> but anyways, okay, let's, uh, I'm gonna undo it, let's undo it, and let's do it again, and I'm gonna hit um, stroke path, but this time I'm gonna have it not simulate pressure. And there we go, so it does like an even pressured stroke along my path. Okay, that's cool, that's fine, that's good. Let's go ahead and I wanna click off of it there. I'm just clicking off of it. There we go. I'm gonna move, uh, give myself some room. And now I wanna do it again, but this time, instead of clicking and lifting and getting these straight lines, I wanna show you to click and drag. So I'm gonna click and drag out a handlebar. And what the handlebars are, are the way to adjust curves. So I'm gonna go click, drag up, I'm just gonna go kind of over from it, click, drag down. And that means the curve's gonna go down because that last handlebar I pulled is in that direction. I'm gonna go over here and click, drag up. So now the curve that's coming is gonna go up and the curve, and I guess the direction of the curve as well there. Click, drag down, click, drag up. And I can just kind of make my curve however I want. Once again, I can use my uh, direct select tool, shortcut is A, I believe. Same as, yeah, A, same as in Illustrator. And you can adjust things. Whoops, let me get back on that. And do all sorts of things. And once I have it how I want it, I can go ahead and go to a pen tool, right click on it, and hit stroke sub path. And ask me once again if I want pressure. Let's try pressure again and see what that looks like. Hey, there we go. And uh, there it is.
Okay, give myself some room here. Next thing I wanna show you with a pen tool is how to change directions of your curve. So I'm gonna go ahead and click, drag up. I'm gonna go over, click, drag down. Now let's say I want a point here, and I, I don't want it to go back and forth. Let's say I want it to go like up again. So let me try that again. So watch, so if I want it to go up, I'm gonna click, drag down, hold down option on the keyboard, drag the handlebar in a different direction. I'll just do it at a diagonal line so we can see it. Now my curve's gonna go in that direction, like so. If I wanna get another point here, I'm gonna go to option, hold it down on the keyboard, bring out the handlebar, make my curve. I have the beginning of a flower, but that's as far as I think I wanna go, because just an example. So I dragged it off the screen, that's why it, it Drugged it, I dragged it, <laughs> I dragged it, I dragged the handlebar, that, that didn't sound right. I dragged it off the screen, so that's what brought my page down. Okay, so I've got it, I can adjust things as well. And when I'm ready, I have to switch the pen tool if I right click it here. Um, actually, no, look at that, I can switch it here. So I can, uh, okay, so once I'm ready, once I'm ready, I can right click on it, I don't even have to switch to my pen tool and I can hit stroke subpath. And it's gonna ask me what I want. Let's do the pressure again just because, there we go, all right? So the pen tool can be pretty helpful if you want to make some a really precise curve and you wanna you know, make it look uh, near perfect. You can adjust that path so you get it exactly how you want it and then you would be good to go. Okay, so another thing we can do is uh, we can have the white arrow we can now move the uh, path around. I can even pick up the actual path itself, and move that around. Let's move this up a little bit. And I can stroke the path again. So let's go ahead and change colors and see what happens here. Let's go ahead and I'll just go to black. All right, so I'm gonna right click on it. I'm gonna say stroke subpath. I'm gonna keep simulating pressure and I'm gonna hit that. And there we go. So this could be useful, right? I hope you can see how this would be useful if you, um, you know, have these curves you want to make or something, and you want to um, adjust it slightly or something like that, and um, you know, redraw it or you know, draw some other thing, but it's close to the other one. Anyways, hopefully you can see how this is helpful. Besides making some interesting uh, patterns here, flower patterns, I guess, and so on. You can just keep doing it. Okay, the other thing you can do though, is I can switch here from my white arrow to my black arrow, the path selection tool, and I can move this. So if I have an element on a page that I wanna put somewhere else, I could take my path, uh, move it somewhere else, instead of redrawing it, and let's say I want it to be pretty much exactly the same, or even if I wanted to change it, I could, but I could stroke the subpath again and I can get the same drawing somewhere else, okay? Super helpful, especially for repeating complex uh, you know, lines uh, and whatnot. Okay, let's say I'm done with this and I don't want those paths on my screen anymore, they're just bugging me. I can uh, take it, I can select it, and then I can go to delete path. I can get rid of it. In doing so, you can see you got rid of all of them. And now I've got these little uh, curly things down there. Okay, well there we go. That's the uh, basics of the pen tool and the pencil tool. And I hope that was helpful. Hope you guys learned something. And I'll catch you guys on the next drawing video.